Anna. Today we're going to dive deeper into your customer needs and your business value proposition. If you haven't seen the Business Model Canvas video, I recommend you watch it before you start. The Value Proposition Canvas was also created by Alexander Osterwalder, the same creator of the Business Model Canvas. The Value Proposition Canvas is a tool that will help you go deeper into your customer needs and way of thinking, and which digitalization strategies are the most effective to meet those needs. The tool has six quadrants. On the right side, the customer analysis, and on the left side, the value proposition analysis. Anna, to begin with, what products or services are you going to sell? I will sell custom t-shirts for gifts. And what are the basic tasks or needs that your product helps your customers satisfy? My customers are looking for personalized custom t-shirts. As basic needs, I believe that my t-shirts are used as gifts. So it generates social acceptance, and strengthens relationships and networking between clients and the person to whom the t-shirt is given as a gift. Now let's talk about your customers' concerns. What are your customers' difficulties today? What are they spending their time and money on? What are their frustrations with your current product? My customers spend time and money to come to my store. In addition, I believe that insecurity can slow gaining new customers. When I asked them about having an online store, some of them told me they have doubts about how to make digital payments and whether it will be easy to choose the pattern in my online store. Interesting. In the left quadrant, we will put ideas that can help solve your concerns. I'll mention a few ideas that can help. For your online store, you can have your own website or look for a digital sales platform. For answering payment questions, you can offer a chat on the website. For prints, you can create a catalog sorted by categories. For example, animal images, landscapes, music bands, etc. Finally, you can have a space for reviews and recommendations so that new customers feel confident with your service. Wow, so many ideas! Now, we need to think about your differentials, your advantages. What else can we offer your customers? I think it would be interesting to have premium t-shirts with higher quality fabrics. It's not only a matter of aesthetics, but also comfort. Okay, now finally, how are you going to add these advantages to your products? I can see partnerships with clothing brands with better quality fabrics and offer their t-shirts as options for my customers in my online store. We're done. Anna, this is a business analysis tool that you must use periodically as part of your management process. The most important thing here is to understand that you must develop your product and service according to your customer needs, concerns, and achievements. And remember that the digitalization of your business depends on whether your customers browse, buy, pay, and interact in the online environment. Now it's time to design your business model and value proposition. Take a pencil and paper. I already learned about the value proposition canvas. Watch also the Payment Digitization Canvas and the Business Model Canvas videos, since these two tools are complementary for your business analysis.